right, folks. Well, uh, we just went to O'Reilly's and got the uh, three-quarter inch heater hose. And as you can see, we do have the perform pre perform service on the on the uh, I don't even know what you call that. Anyways, I'm at 254,000 miles, and we're gonna do the CCV delete. Uh, I'd rather just not replace it. it works just as well and uh, Yeah, when you're doing this mod you're gonna want to make sure your truck is nice and hot It lets the filter come out a lot easier and that's just what I've heard. I haven't done this yet This is the first time so uh, Yeah, that's pretty much basically what you do you get the heater hose you reroute wherever you want You know the fumes and the oil to go some people have a catch can some people don't they just have a little filter but then they have oil shoot all over their engine bay and it gets clogged they have to get a new one so i'm just running it to the ground because well screw the epa all right so the main thing you're gonna need is a grinder and a cutting disc now that is a cutting disc not a grinding disc not a smoothing disc none of that will be able to work all right so uh, i took my shirt off because i was in my game day jersey so there's one stud and eight bolts you need to take out and I used um, 5 16 head, and that worked pretty well. They're going to be located one, two, three, and there's one in the back. One, two, three, one in the back. So there's four on each side. That's eight. Take your oil cap off. Set that down. And then this comes up so those other two bolts one's gonna be there and that stud goes in that back left one you know i'm gonna pick this up get this out the way and remember you do want your engine to be uh warm this is still like hot you can, i can feel it that's where oil goes and that's where uh the hose comes out from this filter right over here that is your Filter right here. Comes out nice and easy. Dang, it's heavy. Comes out nice and easy. Yeah, you can tell that's clogged up. It's got some heat to it. Anyways, so these four corners, that's where you start cutting. Cut straight through the middle and then cut from there. Dang, that's like really hot. That's probably why you need to replace it. So this is what we got and uh, we'll put it so, back in later. Uh, anyone who's doing this knows how to use an angle grinder. And I went and I chopped the four corners like everyone says to do. And it seemed like a, a pain to get it out that way. And you just want to save this outer perimeter. Right here, these outer edges. You just want to save that. You don't want to mess it up. And down below this. So I, I chopped this stuff up so it would come out easily. You see that filter? Looks like charcoal. Yeah. That's what's clogged. That's the filter that won't let any air through that eventually will ruin your engine if you leave Basically, it there. You're just going to come in here and like pry around and get this stuff out however you can. The screwdriver or whatever. And uh, there's no need for me to try to do this and film at the same time. You get the concept. I might do a time lapse. Who knows? All right. So uh, as you can see, it is horrid what what this stuff has come to it's like dirt with oil in it i mean it's just terrible look look at that that was once paper well uh i'm gonna keep cleaning this out we're almost there and this stuff is just horrible look how much of this is in there and I still got quite a bit to go. Lights fading on me. My hood slammed. I need new shocks or whatever you call it. I'm just getting this stuff out. It's like, of course, it's like really hard to get it out, right? You know, no one ever makes anything easy. Oh, all right. Be back in a minute. Man, this stuff is kicking my butt. I'm getting close. Look at all of this garbage. Phew. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I still got to get all of that out. And it's not easy. It's like... Oh, you got to gotta really use the blade of this to scrape that out. Alright. 
we finally got her all cleaned out. Now it's time to put it back in the truck and uh, throw all of that away. You know, that would obviously probably be a good fire starter, you know, if you're not going to eat the food you're cooking with it. You can just, yeah, well, whatever, I'm going to show you. Yeah, we got it all cleaned up now. Time to put it back in the truck. Uh, all the bolts you got to take out. Go over it one more time, make sure everything's nice and clean. And nice. <laughs> Anyways, all right, I'm gonna open the hood up now. All right, now right, we're uh, gonna set her back in there. And that's, that's the wrong way. L, L, L. That was the easiest thing I've said all day. All right, so now that you got it set in there. Hey, check it out. It's a rocker. Hey, look, is there an injector? Lit. Anyways, um, now you're gonna Put the case back over and put all your bolts tightened down. I'll tell you one thing, you'd be surprised how heavy this thing is. It's a lot heavier than what I thought it would be. <gasps> Yo, bump in here. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna set these right there. Don't go anywhere. Just put this sucker on. All right, don't move, don't think, don't do anything stupid. Lined up, lined up, all right. Let's grab one, slide it in, twist. Nice, very nice. Grab another, don't fall. Put it in there, twist it in. Now you just, uh, oh, I'll have to put that back on. Anyways, now you just go around, put all of them in, and we'll get to what you're gonna do with this and the extra heater hose we bought. All right, so now we have all the bolts tightened. There's eight of them. We have the dipstick down and everything. This clamp is gonna go right there on a hose, and I'm gonna run to right there, the little clip, and then just straight down, I'm gonna dump it on the ground. So uh, I'll probably zip tie it up off my intercooler and then pull it over here away from the uh, AC thing just because I don't like when anything touches. And you might say, why do that? It's such a hassle to get your air box out and all that. Well, I don't care. It's two zip ties. I'll cut it and redo it. It's not that hard. It's like 10 cents a zip tie. This is how I got it running. I'm going to start it up now and just make sure it's not doing anything like crazy stupid. <laughs> Before you start your truck, always remember... Make sure you got this tight before you go driving off because you don't want stuff getting down in there. Make sure all your bolts are tight. Just go all the way around in a circle. I did that. Make sure your clamp's tight on there. I did that. And just, you know, get a little overview of the truck. Make sure there's not any tools left down in there or anything. And after that, you should be should be all right. All right. So uh, I got everything. Got everything zip tied up now. I got that pulled away from there. You know, it goes down there and zip ties there. Time to go start her up. One last look to make sure there's nothing missing. I don't see nothing. Let's go crank it up. All right. Hey, quiet, buddy. Filming. All right, I'm gonna crank her up. Looks good. I ain't leaking nothing yet. It will eventually though. It's louder. You can hear the chatter of the rockers. I need to adjust those. Other than that, that's a successful job. All right, so uh, I'm gonna look, make sure there's not any leaks. And so far, I don't see any. I'm gonna cut that zip tie. Comes down to right about there. Everything looks good. That shouldn't have back oil, you know, oil coming back into it anymore. 
Everything should breathe just right now. Oh goodness. There we go. All right.